because I want everybody to be on the same page, we're going to go into some detail about what we're doing when we're setting up our traditional Google Plus events. We're going to talk about some basics here. Once that's done, I'm going to then introduce the training sections again, and we're going to go right into the details of what's involved. So here we go. Basics for setting up Google Plus events. On the left side, this is on the desktop version of Google Plus, where the big number one is, we're going to slide over there, it drops down, and we're going to choose the link area that says events. We're not going to be using Hangouts. That's for setting up Hangout on Air events. This is a traditional events setup. So we click on events. That brings us to the upper right where the number three is. You could use the plan a Hangout or the Create Event because I want to show you the options I have chosen to use Create Event. And so we click on that button. It brings us to this type of a dialog where we can load up a different graphic. I suggest, if possible, make your own graphics or what are called themes. So this right here is when you click on, let me go back there, when you click where it says Change Theme in the yellow, it brings us to this screen. You can choose from the list or upload your own, which is what I'm encouraging you to do. And the size of the graphics is 1,200 by 300 pixels. You can bring in JPEGs, ping, or GIF, or GIF, depending on how you like to pronounce that. Um, I like the fact that GIF is an option because it allows me to add animation to my graphics for my themes for my events, which I think is pretty cool. Just don't go overboard. Okay, so we're going to collect. We're going to click there and grab something from our computer. I happen to do this a lot, so I've got a bunch of different headers loaded with some branding and graphics that say what the people are asked to do, basically. And then down on the bottom right, we click open. That loads it up into our creation or our dialog for creating the event. And then we go. Let's talk about these number one, two, three, four, five. Number one, we add in the title. We adjust the date and time, and maybe the time zone. Then we move over to number two. We're going to create this as a Hangout event, so we choose the event options, drop down to the advanced area, and choose Hangouts because we want to be able to meet inside a video room with our client. That's how we're doing our initial, what I call, meet and greet time. I also encourage you to put in some text in the detailed area that helps people understand why they're there and what they're going to do once they're there. You're going to invite number four, your client or clients in, and then you click number five, the invite button. What that does is it builds a page just like this, and this is, in essence, your landing page. So you can grab the URL from the very top and share that with people. So a landing page is where people come to do something. You're pointing them here. So I would send this to them in an email, this URL from the very up top, especially when I'm new with a client and they're just not sure how to get around. I just make sure I'm in an email and I send them the link. Once they get there, then they get to choose, are you going? And they say yes. So in my email, I encourage them to do those things. And in the details text, as we talked about, it tells them why they're here and what they're to expect. If you've made any errors and you need to fix them, you can choose the edit event on the right side of where the details is, and it'll drop down and let you edit it. And as a tip in the blue annotation, after you've repeatedly worked with clients, you probably don't need to send them the emails anymore. You can simply invite them into the event they will see their notifications, they'll say yes, and you're good to go. So you don't really need to keep doing the email over and over. That, oh, back up. That's helping you now understand the setup, the basic setup. So now we're going to go and introduce the training again one more time, and we're going to go into much further detail of how to make all this stuff work out.